Hello guys, this is Max. Welcome to my channel. I'm so excited today to show you one of the best video I created in a long time. The color, the technique, the model, the energy of the model. Everything is perfect. The day was perfect, was hot, but we work really hard to give you the best technique um, I can offer as a massage therapist and an osteopath. We, I just came back from uh, the yoga Thai conference and uh, I'm gonna apply most of the advanced technique I learned from this master in the Yoga Thai conference. But we're gonna start our video with some assessment, assessment of the longitudinal line and the frontal line. And we haven't find any crazy compensation pattern on uh, this perfect model that we have in the front. So uh, there is no compensation pattern, so we're gonna adjust and she's gonna just enjoy probably the best massage she has had in a long time. And we're gonna start with the back chain, back chain that go from the foot all the way into the neck. And I wanna see guys, if you wanna go check my Deep Tissue Lover Patreon, I give massage, uh, ASMR massage uh, to, to plus size women in uh, bikini so it's uh, totally different from what you see here but it's uh, another way that you can enjoy massage i let you uh, see the rest of the video i'm going to intervene when it's necessary but for now i'm going to say bye What you're just seeing is um, a fast release of the 6D rotator of the back line with a massage that can be used before a competition. So it's mostly an activation of muscle. As you can see, I'm going really fast. I'm dynamically moving all the body and uh, it's coming from uh, osteopathic technique but what I'm doing I'm mixing uh, some sport massage with uh, this dynamic movement so really helpful if you for example before uh, doing a, a squat or before doing a competition where you got to run 100 meters so you have some athletic performance to, to do this kind of massage it's perfect so guys um, apply this massage every time you have somebody that is uh, you have a client that need um, wake up drills for Bay Mass. Bien espalda. Bien espalda. ¿Quieres que no me lo baje? Sí, por favor.
guys, we are now into the deep into the bushes of the um, Thai massage, the technique that I was talking about. So we're going to start with some elephant walk. It's called like this because you walk gentle and you massage one side, the other side of the leg, working on hamstring, on the bicep femoris, until you go all the way up into the six deep rotators. When you're there, you can touch the piriformis, the TFL, and go it down. But this is the kick. This is what I'm, I was talking about. This is probably the best technique I've seen in a long time. So you go closer to the hips of the client. Of course, you got to say to the client, look, I'm going to do a technique that is kind of intimate, and you got to create trust with your client. Um, Oriana, the girl that uh, I'm working with, she did video before with me, so she knows me, she knows that I'm a professional, and in this kind of position, you need to be as professional as possible. If you don't want to break the ethical and, uh, and if you don't want to break the law, actually. So uh, what, you, what you're doing is using the elbow to work all the glutes, in a different position. You can even go close to the sacro and you can work in the same time whether you just comfortably, you can even reach and it's so comfortable for the client. And then from there, you go on top. So from there, you can just uh, uh, go on top and start working the way up into the neck. So you just work the lumbar, you just work the thoracic, you reach uh, all that muscle, they're always tight in between the scapula, talking about the rhomboid and the trapezius medius, and then you can stretch the pec minor and create a wonderful stretch and a wonderful feeling in the front. I suggest you to do more than once. And then from there, you can uh, just even have some deep work directly into the into the trapezius. I'm going to show you the same technique now from another angle so you can have a better understanding of what's going on. So there is always a cautious when you put all your weight on top of your client. And there's always a cautious that you need to have a table that doesn't break. You don't want to break the table, and so it has to be a strong table. That's why I'm using Master Massage. That is a table that is a, can can sustain un, until 300 kilos, supposedly. And here you can see me walk like an elephant on the glutes, creating a wonderful massage on the TFL. Go all the way down into the IT band. And again, you will see how you're going to approach. So you need to elevate, not too much because you can create problem in the lumbar, but you got to reach enough, you got to be enough close that the knee are closer to the hips. Sometimes you can even go closer, but you know, for uh, ethical reason, I will not do it unless it's, you're talking about your partner or your friend or so, so but this technique for the glutes guys you need to try it with with somebody with somebody with your partner with your uh, clients because it really feels good and it's a it's a nearly natural way to to be massaged so really pay attention on you can even work on the sacro in this position and then from there you can go on top, like uh, I was showing you before. So you, you, what, what's happening is like you work all the back chain uh, with, um, with a wonderful technique, and then you just jump on top, you put your knee on the ischial tuberosity, and you start working the way up uh, from the iliolum iliolumbar ligament all the way up into, into the thoracic, uh, and you can even create some, uh, do some manipulation, the thoracic if necessary of course but yes guys i let you enjoy uh, the rest of the video
So guys, another technique from Wu Tai. In this time, we're gonna stretch all the adductor and we're gonna stretch all the sacro and the ligament in the sacro with a gentle technique that can even stretch the ilopsoas while in the same time you're releasing all the multifidus, you're stretching all the low, lower back. As you can see, she, she is enjoying the stretching and you create this uh, little movement with your body that uh, I was trying to grab the leg so I can have a better grip on her. You can see that what you're trying to do is uh, to release all the tension in the back and it feels really comfortable. It feels like a hug, like a, like a beautiful hug and it's a, uh, I mean, you need to try to, to just have an idea of how uh, comfortable this position is. It doesn't look like because uh, you say, oh my God, she's on my knees, but no, you can just, uh, this is, a, a, the quadriceps are really uh, comfortable when you, when you sit on top of it. And here you can see some uh, good uh, stretching of the QL. You can even release the lateral sling in this way. You can work on the belly. You can work on the, uh, with a diaphragm. And it's, um, it's a really a blend of uh, technique and, and work that you can do in the same time. So guys, I hopefully, hopefully you're gonna try this technique, but now I let you watch more in ASMR. Okay, some more work on the lumbar. This time you're in the same position I was before, but this time the client is face up. So here what you're stretching is all the front line and the back line. So you're working on the lumbar. So this is a good stretch for the longissimus, is a good stretch from the multifidus. And you can even pinpoint uh, a part. So in this way we are stretching uh, the um, the sacro on the right side and it feels really really good when you do that and you can create uh, some kind of a gentle waving uh, movement then you can change the leg and do the same thing on the other side really comfortable really gentle position to stretch all this little ligament and muscle we have in the sacro and then from there you can go even on top and just walk. You walk on top and you're stretching all the back. This allows the, the sacro to go in um, contra-nutation, in nutation, sorry, in nutation. That uh, feels really good when you have, a, for example, hyperlordosis like this girl has. And then some stretching there.
los guías los tengo que poner de allá porque se les fue te tiro por acá sí porque antes la rodilla la ponía acá ¿verdad? no cuando hacía esto era de aquel lado de este lado era poniendo así entonces o sea yo te, te he puesto así. para ahí uh -huh. después cuando te he dado la vuelta para hacer así entonces no, no. Again, guy, this is another technique on the on the side. This allow you to be really dynamic and working uh, the back in uh, in a dynamic way. So what you're doing is uh, you create you, you put the client on the side. You uh, uh, fortunately I can't show you what I'm doing with my hand, but one hand is on top of the scapula and the other one is the hand is uh, on top of the. Um, on the lumbar and I create a movement of uh, like a wave so you're working the lumbar and in the same time you're working on the the upper thoracic you create a, this wave like a snake that go from the lumbar all the way up into the thoracic and from the thoracic all the way up into the lumbar here another way to do it you can put the hands on the sacro and the other one on the belly and or you can go directly into the longissimus and moving around in on the floor you can even stretch all the way up and stretch all the the upper part of the of the body but on the on the table you got to watch how you're gonna fall
<risa> Desde los guantes. Hostia, sorry.
And now we are working on the glutes. We're gonna use some active uh, release technique. So we're gonna pinpoint a trigger point and we're gonna stretch it. So it's like a pin and stretch. Right now, for example, I'm doing the piriformis. That's why I'm external rotated the hips. And then I'm working in flexion extension all the hips that allow me to really work out the glute maximus, the glute uh, medius in a really functional way because this is what you do when you, when you run, when you, when you walk and you can find the trigger point on, the, on this position all the and you can find all the little muscle around the acetabulum and you can even reach the glute medius. And here you have uh, some work on the long longissimus, longissimus muscle that go from the sacro all the way out into the skull. And you will see a technique that I think I, I did before. It's uh, it works really amazing on the um, on the side. So you ask the client to do like a like a bomb, like before you jump into the pool, kind of position, or fetal position, and, and uh, from there you ask the client to extend. So first you open up all the space in between the different vertebra from the lumbar into the into the thoracic and then you ask them to extend. So if there is an extension and there is a, a flexion and that is really helpful if you have um, some kind of tension or uh, a knot and it can help to enhance uh, all your work that is doesn't have to be necess necessarily static. Sometimes you can just uh, add some functional movement, and uh, for example, all the lateral sling in this case is gonna be is gonna feel really good and feel really released, like I'm doing here on the on the latissimus. Bien. Entonces eh, te quieren encontrar en Instagram. ¿Cómo se llama tu Instagram? El mundo de Oren. Sí. Okay. Okay, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. See you soon. Subscribe.